This is Sims, and we are back with more Bad Apple Wars, and... Okay, so obviously you know I record ahead. Um, <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I have to keep editing these videos and, like, overdubbing them because all of the music in this game is copyrighted to the point of you can't even put the video up. Uh, so, of course, I mean, we're several parts past, but I obviously hadn't loaded the video onto YouTube um, until the other day, but like between record between the last time I recorded and now uh, for part what, what, like 12, I think. Um, so yeah, it's really disappointing. I mean, <laughs> I just, uh, so I'm so sorry. Um, actually, speaking of, I was going to see if there was an options to turn down volume. Let's see, movie. But then it sucks because you can't hear the background music. You can't hear the background volume. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Anyway. I really wanted to be able to just turn that. So, like, because I don't know if we're going... Obviously, like, the theme song, like, we cut that out. We're never going to worry about that again. And I keep clipping it when we get to the end stuff. When we got the end chapters, like, nope, I'm not even taking a risk. Um, but I don't know if, like, going through Satoru's route, if we're going to go through similar situations where we'll have that concert. I'm really kind of hoping maybe we don't. Um, I'm really hoping that it'll be slightly different so we don't have to worry about that. But if I see that that seems to be coming up, I'll just mute the music there. I just want you to be able to have some kind of background. I don't even know if you can hear the background music because it's really quiet in the thing. But to me, it's weird to not be able to hear it at all. I, I don't know. So we'll figure it out. Or we'll just have to keep re-editing parts, and it'll be weird and strange, and you'll just have to bear with me, because, I mean, I don't do it on purpose, guys. <laughs> I really don't. Um, but I gotta be honest, so obviously, like, the last part was just the beginning of Satoru's route, and it was the end of Alma's, and I just have not stopped thinking about Alma's route and the ending and just being like, oh my god. Like... It, it's, I, I just keep thinking of it and I kind of wish that like, I could just record as I'm walking around my apartment like, oh my god, just, it's haunting me. And it's like, because it's like, okay, age difference aside, if you think about it, Alma wakes up, right, in the hospital and then is like, all right, someday I'm going to meet Spacey in a minute. Like, yeah, right? And he waits at least a decade before she comes rolling into the hospital. At least, Right? I mean, I mean, maybe not quite, but, like, let's just say, that's, like, some fuck, like, that's amazing. Like, he's just amazing, like, having this face, like, it doesn't matter, someday she's gonna show up. And then you finally, he finally gets her in there, and he's like, all right, but now we gotta wait till you're, like, 18, so three years from now, you come see me. That man's willpower is astounding. You wanna talk about Code Realize and their willpower to be like, I can't touch Spacey because she'll melt me, we'll handle it. They don't wait, like, fucking, like, 13 goddamn years minimum jesus christ damn alma you just it's like just kind of amazing and if you think about it like our whole purpose like we died and it, it was actually like so he dies right like a year after his girlfriend dies and whether spacey is really her reincarnated or not like whatever so he dies like a year later He's been in this place for at least probably, I mean, almost 15 years if you think about it. Let's just say Spacey is the reincarnated girl, right? So she died. She came here. Within that year, she got reincarnated, right? So Alma has been here for over a decade of time. I mean, time here is probably irrelevant, but he's been here so long doing this. And like, he could have been, oh, I've only been here like two days before Spacey showed up again, right? And him dying is what caused Spacey to die. Because if he hadn't died, whether he threw himself off the roof, if you go that route, or he fell, whichever one, I think he actually threw himself off the roof. You know what I mean? But if he hadn't died, then exactly what happened in his ending happened. He becomes a doctor. He's there. He saves Spacey. Spacey doesn't die. But he throws himself off the roof, dies, Spacey dies. But then they meet here. Oh my god, it's like fucking... Ah! Oh, 
just the whole thing. Bird, don't yell at me. Don't sit on my shoulder then if you're going to yell at me. Um, oh my gosh, just amazing. And I just can't stop thinking about it. And I'm like, oh my God, all the, I'm going to be really sad because this route's probably going to be one of those ones. Like there's a couple in here that are going to be like, just based on reviews, like, well, there's a couple that are just meh. After playing that one, I'm okay with a meh route because I feel like nothing at this point, it could be the best damn route ever. It's not going to beat almost right now. So it's like, whatever route we play next is going to be eh compared to that. So I don't know. I'm really glad that we played that one first. And I really just, I really just needed to talk to you guys about that one again. And just because, I mean, obviously you saw it yesterday. It's been a few days since I've played. I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, so yeah, that's my, that's my, I just, oh, I can't get over it. It just haunts me. I just walk around like, oh my God. Oh, there's so much going on with that. Like just so many like fear. And I just, I kind of like that. It's, I mean, I wouldn't say it's open-ended, but it's kind of like the, like you just, it's things like that where you just keep thinking about it and you're like, oh my God. He died and ended up here, and that's why Spacey died, because he wasn't there to save her. And then, but then maybe he had to die in order to be here, to meet her, to have the will to live. Oh my god, it's like fucking insane. Because otherwise, he would have gone on his life, well, no, or, well, yeah, because then, what if Spacey didn't get hit by a car, or got saved by some other doctor, then she would never end up here, and then he would never end, and then it's like, oh my god. It's just like fucking crazy. It's just, but I don't think that would happen. It's basically Alma died, which caused Spacey to die. And then they meet here and then she's like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Like, keep trying. And then he wakes up and it's like, I've got to save her someday. Becomes a doctor and is the one that saves her life. Otherwise, he'd have jumped off the roof and Spacey would have gotten hit by a car and died. It's just like a circle that never ends. It's amazing. And I'm sure I'm that all of the paths are going to be like that. There's going to be some kind of connection or something. I'm just really curious how they're going to do it with Shikishima. Because he's from, I he's not from the Edo period. He's from something else. I forget what it was. I couldn't remember what period people were from. But he's from like way back in ye olde time. So how the hell is that going to work? I'm really curious about that. But I mean, also, we don't know where Satoru's from. So we'll find out because that's the path we're on now. Anyway, we were just hanging out with our future someday boyfriend. The last route we're going to do, White Mask. <clears throat> See if I can get his voice back again, so. Oh, fuck. I kind of forget the voice that I do for him. It's just, it's a quiet, deep... Okay, something. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. It's going to change every single episode I do. I don't know. I can't. I had too many voices in my head. This is the problem with playing too many games. It's too many voices in my head. <laughs> that is like a flag right there for the men with the white coats to come and take me away. So many voices in my head. Someone's going to hear that, like, one day outside my apartment and be like... What the hell? Not realizing what I'm doing. Anyway. Someone, uh, someone remains in the classroom. We must issue a warning. Yeah, that wasn't his voice. I can't. Mm. Oh, of course. Grape. Genius Venice Hall Corridor. Satoru, I thought you went to the dorm. You again. School is over. Please return to the dorm. Ugh, quiet. I don't have time for this. I warned you earlier. The use of items brought from outside the school is forbidden. Stranger and unknown person. You're quite a bad apple, ignoring a warning like that. I will correct you. I think White Mask likes correcting people. He corrected him again. <laughs> it looks crazy. Effort is, Effort is useless. Great pains, all in vain. He's talking like he was earlier, and his expression is blank. At the goody goody in me, since that's the problem playing, is be like, when do I get one of those rulers I can slap a bitch with? <laughs> Split personalities over here. Breaking two rules right after being admitted to the school. We'll need to keep an eye on him. Class has ended. Return to the dorm. I must go to the dorm. I must follow the rules. Do you know where the dorm is? Dorm? What? I don't know. Then I shall guide you. You, come along as well. Um, does everybody live in the dorm? Yes. All Navai Academy students live and sleep in the dormitory. Except one particular group. As such, you will also be living in the dorm from this point on. 
Oh, I will? Let's get going. The correction wears off. He'll break the rules once again. Oh, um, right. The dorm, huh? I'll be living in a two. I wonder what kind of a place it is. Me too, because we haven't been there. Went to the clubhouse, but now we're going. That building over there is the dormitory. Home away from home, from now on. Seems normal enough on the outside. Oh, it's probably scary on the inside. I wonder if I can actually make it here. Oh, yay! Bad apples! Aw! I missed you guys. Hey! It's really the place. If memory serves, this should be it. That was so a Lupin voice coming out of Anishi, and that was wrong. That was so wrong. I'm so sorry for that. Pretty easy to forget where this place is, considering we hardly ever come here. <laughs> but we haven't had baby students in forever. We gotta say hi. And what the... Oh, aren't those the people, the ones that crashed the ceremony? Hey, the girl. She's wearing their uniform. Has she already joined with the prefects? It can't be. That's way too quick. What about the other one? He's not wearing a uniform. I'm a total failure. Nothing will change. No matter what, I'm useless garbage. Did they correct him? Oh, Alma, I miss you so much. Oh, don't show him on my face. I know I miss you. Oh, I'm so sorry. It hurts so much. It hurts so much doing like, like there's some that you're like, okay, I'm doing this person's path and whatever. But like, the only problem is when you do a pass, path like Alma's in the very beginning, you're like, but I miss you. And I feel like I'm forsaking you for someone else. I know I shouldn't because we're doing the whole game, but I just, no, I just want to be like, no, we can't. We can't do any other path ever again. Or what we really should do is do one path in a game and be like, okay, and then play another game and just do a path and then, and then like make the three cycles. Like, we're just going to play Bad Apple Wars today, go through Alma's path, and then we go to Code Realize and play somebody's path, and then we go to a different game, and then, event and then we cycle back to Bad Apple Wars, so I've forgotten it. So I don't feel as, like, devastated, like I'm cheating on Alma right now. <laughs> oh, Spacey has mental issues. We know this. We sh no, no surprise. Ugh, you kidding me? I didn't expect one of the goodies to be with them. We should get out of here before any more of them show up. Do you think you can escape? I will correct you all right here. Not even one of you will leave. Time to bust a move. The dorm will have to wait. I have to hunt down the bad apples and correct them all. Come along. What? Oh, um, wait, please! Hunt them down. Correct them. They were only walking around. Is it because they're bad apples? Is that the only reason? What's the deal? I cannot wait to go down his path, because he seems like... I'm just so fucking curious. I keep thinking we're on his path, and we're not. Hell, this guy's persistent. <gasps> um, are we still going after them? Of course. We must catch them and correct their faults. This could be a good opportunity for you to see our work firsthand. First, please watch me. Okay. Whatever you say, hot stuff. Whoa, he just took after them. He is so fast. Urgh! You coward! Attacking while our backs are turned like that. Warrior guy. Oh, Anishi. Anishi! Don't worry on my account. Just get away as fast as you can. Hell, we're coming for you later, I promise. Oh no. Oh, Anishi, I'm so sorry. I'm kind of glad that we can't romance you because I would feel really guilty about this. Whatever torments they concoct, none will turn me on you. Insects playing pranks. I may actually vomit. Okay. Oh! Stomping on a guy's back when he's down. That's so cruel. Now, it is time for your correction. We have a new member today. I'll let her do the honors. Come here, please. Um, okay? As I communicated earlier, a prefect's job is to correct bad apples. After restraining one, you hit them with the weapon you were given to correct them. Please strike him with that tool you carry. The broom. I got a broom! Man! Well, I guess I'm gonna be a bit of a witch, so... Doing so will ensure his correction. 
Uh, I can't. I can't just hit someone like that. Ugh. If you're going to do it, then do so quickly. Though my spirit will not be so easily broken. I better do it or they're going to hit me. What's the matter? Do it. But... Do you not know how to use a weapon? I will instruct you if so. Job or not, I can't just up and hit someone. What should I do? Uh-oh! Release our friend if you don't. There's a knife pressed against my back. I didn't even see it coming. Dude, oh my, man, after all we had together? Taking hostages. A cowardly strategy as befits you. Say what you will. Let him go. Do you actually think we'd negotiate with a bad apple like you? Ow! He's pressing the knife into my back even harder. So what now? Is he going to kill me? But I'm already dead, aren't I? You leave me no choice. Eek! I like how we eek a lot. We eek a little too much. Oh, guys, you made me eek! Oh, I think about the little octopus from fucking <laughs> Fighting Nemo. I know we're eeking and not inking, but still. Same difference. There. The red-haired guy pushed me away. Shh. He stopped. Was it because the red-haired guy pushed me away? Run, now, while you can. Lord Hama, I am in your debt. Get going. Oh, I'm gonna get corrected. Am I saved? Worms. I'm so sorry. This is my fault. No, the blame is not yours. You are still new to all of this. Take some time to get used to it. Soon you'll be able to respond quickly to situations like this. In time, I will teach you to be an excellent disciplinarian. Oh, that sounds intriguing. Ahem. Your path is going to be interesting. Take some time. So I'm going to be doing this kind of thing a lot, huh? Useless. Literally pointless. No matter how much you build, it always comes crashing down. <laughs> it's just the way this world works. He's kind of fun because his personality is like, because he does this, ha ah, ha, I'm crazy. Mumble, mumble, mumble as I'm studying. And then what? Why are you annoying me? <laughs> He's got like three different tones of voice. I don't know why that happened, but it just did. So that's the way it is. This is so bizarre. I've got to be dreaming. But if I am, how long until I wake up? Let's go to bed in the dorms. Woo, Reaper game. Okay, so I, yeah, I mean, I think all the common chapters are common. Common chapters are common. Yeah, that's not the dumbest thing I've ever just said. Um. Thanks, Monokuma. <sighs> is it morning already? Hey, look, we get our own room. It's why is does, is it just me or does the way the perspective is makes it feel like that wall on the left is curving? Whoa, so bizarre. I don't think I slept much. I do feel a little less fatigued after dozing off for a bit, though. Kind of weird. It's been a few days since I've come to Navai Academy. I still wonder whether or not I might be dreaming, but it doesn't seem like it. Before I tried to sleep, I was hoping that I'd wake up in my old room again. But when I open my eyes, all I see is the dorm's depressing ceiling. And then the disappointment that I have to get through. Oh, another day here. Uh, uh, then the disappointment that I have to get through another day here starts to set in. Is it night or morning right now? There's no real concept of time here. Though they do distinguish between days. The sky is always pure red, so it's impossible to tell day from night. The only way to tell time is to estimate based on when the school bell rings. So, I'm not really even sure how much time has passed since I came here. This has gone on too long to be a dream. When will I wake up? Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. This is the morning announcement! Oh, there's the bell. I guess my shift starts soon. I gotta change and get to school. Every day, the students here go to school and take classes. But the prefects only go in order to patrol the halls and keep watch. Beyond that, they just sleep. I'm glad I don't have to be at the school all the time, but... I don't really like patrolling either. I'll be late if I don't hurry. I gotta get ready to go. Ooh. 
We get to be a touchy feely with Satoru in this chapter, so that's interesting. Good morning. Uh, good morning. This is who I'm patrolling with today. Honestly, though, I can't tell one prefect from another. That one guy has white hair, so I can at least point him out. Hello. Greetings. None of the students call each other by name. Now that I think of it, the guy in the white mask did say names were unnecessary here. Same as with the prefects, I can't tell one of these people apart. Or any one of any of these people apart. Maybe it's because they're all wearing masks, but none of them really leave much of an impression. And they all look the same. It looks as though... Oh. It looks as though everyone's here! Let's begin the lesson, meow! I mean, what? <laughs> I know she didn't say that, but... Whoa, class is starting. I've got to keep an eye on everyone. Uh, though all that really means is just watching... The meaning of this metaphor is meaningless, useless, or in other words, worthless. Basically, it contains nothing of value. I don't really understand this class. I guess it's fine, though, since I'm just observing things. I mean, what is it even about? The longer I listen, the more spaced out I get, unless I want to do anything. I wonder if it's because the class is so tedious. Care, concern, vexation. Company, corporation, firm. What is he studying? He's studying random fucking work. Like, literally, what is he studying? Satoru is studying on his own, as usual. He's always buried in that vocabulary book. What's he trying to accomplish by memorizing all those words and chemicals? Now, I'll write some examples on the board. Put them in your notebooks. A meaningless effort. Ugh, the more I listen, the sleepier I get. If I fall asleep right now, will I wake up right here again? Or will I be back at home, I wonder? Let's find out! No, we're gonna get beaten. <laughs> the thing is, we're patrolling. We should be beating Satoru. Beat him! Beat him, Spacey! Take your broom and beat him! I want a fucking cool ruler. It feels like it'd be easier to carry around than a broom. Although, now I feel like a bit like Hermione Granger. Can I get a cloak? Carrying around my broom. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> Leviorca, not Leviorca. <laughs> Have you seen that meme? It's pretty funny. Anyway. Okay, the team's all here. Today's lesson is about basketball. Now, I'm sure you all know, but if you get the ball through the ringed basket, you'll score your team a point. So be sure to never take a shot. Let the game begin. It's against the rules to shoot, so we must not take a shot. No matter how hard we try, in the end it doesn't even matter, so it's best to not do anything at all. Don't score in a basketball game. It's a bizarre rule. Nobody seems to be questioning it, though. In fact, they don't look like they're taking the class seriously at all. This makes more sense knowing that the whole purpose is to see who has the strength or the determination to, be re to go back to their life, and if you totally follow the rules you just get wiped clean and you go on and you're like reborn as someone else but because it's kind of funny that so they're like doing rules like nobody throw the bath so we're gonna play basketball but nobody actually play what no i mean uh, and you, it, you're like i can't oh uh, would go crazy i mean like nobody write shit down in your notebooks okay i mean i'm fine with that but like I mean, I'm not good at basketball, but I would... Can I just try? I can't just stand here. What the fuck is the point of this for an hour? Like... Uh... The boys over there are supposed to be playing, too. I wonder if they're doing the same thing as the girls. Winning is meaningless. No matter how many times you win, in the end, you'll be crushed. Looks like they are. Why do they make them do this? Want. Desire. Yearning. Store. Boutique. Inventory. Still buried in that sea of vocab, even during P.E. Hey, compensate. Uh, remuneration? Remuneration. Hmm. Free, unfettered liberty. We're learning words. I have no idea why. I like, what are you, what is he literally, because he's not like reading, like he's, it's literally like he's reading a thesaurus. Like, okay, this is the meaning of this word. Like, what, what are you doing? You're just, re you're just saying words. You're not even learning anything. You're just saying words. Hey, you. It's gym time right now. So get your nose out of the book and join the match, please. You're annoying. Shut up. Don't interrupt me when I'm studying. Plus, it's quite dangerous to stand in the middle of the room like that. A ball just might come flying at you. Room? We're not in the middle of the room. We're outside. Oh, God. He's going to be hitting that. Yep. Ugh. A ball just whacked Satoru in the head. 
Like I said. <laughs> Poor Satori. Uh, that just made him a little more endearing. Like, oh, poor thing. You just get smacked in the head with a ball for being a dumbass. <laughs> and you're always getting smacked with rulers and shit. And I'm going to have to beat you with my broom soon. It's going to be weird. Today's lesson is on singing in a choir. Please sing along while I play piano. However, you mustn't make a peep. Are we clear? A choir that isn't allowed to sing. It's not a choir at all. How are they supposed to sing? Oh, dear God. Let's hope this isn't copyrighted. <laughs> Everyone's just mouthing the words. What's the deal with this? Hideyoshi unified Japan in 19, 1590. And Satoru still hasn't budged. It's almost impressive. We're just like following him. I, I swear to God, it's like a Pavlovian response now when I hear that. I'm like, ah, what? Oh, night time's over. Not time for free time yet. Woo! Time for lunch at last. I'm not all that hungry, but I guess I should try to eat something. Today, let's give the curry a try. I hope it's good. Here we go. Munch, munch. I knew it. It's exactly the same. It looks delicious, but it tastes like absolutely nothing. It's like chewing sand. It was like that yesterday and the day before, too. No matter what I eat, none of it has any flavor at all. I might end up losing it if I have to deal with this kind of food every day. I mean, you don't really need to eat, so... We don't know that, though. Might as well finish it, I guess. Glad I managed to get all down somehow. Nothing else to do, though. Now that I'm done... Uh, now that I'm done eating. Maybe I'll take a walk. On the day of the opening ceremony, I tried a bunch of times to go outside the gate, but never could. But maybe that was just my imagination. If I try it once more, who knows? I might just be able to leave. Here I go. <laughs> Nothing. I'm sure I was stepping outside the gate, but... Let's try this one more time. Oh, Spacey. Nada. I just can't leave. It's not my imagination. You can't leave from there. Excuse me? Struggle as you may, you cannot leave this little garden. You'd best give up on that. I'm pretty sure he was the guy scattering flower petals around at the opening ceremony. He's got a sketchbook with him today, too. Um, hmm. Maybe I should try to capture this. I was about to ask him a question, but he's already... S but he started working. Looks like he's painting something in his book. What in the world could he be trying to paint out here? Perhaps a bit more of a twist. Wonder if he'd mind me sneaking a peek. Hmm. What is this a picture of? It looks like a bunch of geometric patterns. Is it an abstract painting? But why is it all in black? Is that the motif or something? And finished. Hmm. Oh, he turned around. Caught me staring at him, too. Well, hello there. Hi. You're one of the new students, yes? My name is Shikishima. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Spacey. Nice to meet you, too. Guess there are some friendly faces here at the Academy, too. Kind of a relief. Wasn't he with that group, the Bad Apples, though? They're the enemies of the Prefects. I wonder if I should really be talking to him. We're not the best good apple, are we? We're like a bad good apple. We're like, we're in the Shikishima era here. We're like, I'm like kind of in a gray area where I'm like, yeah, I walk around and I'm supposed to beat people, but I kind of just don't. Just pretend. I'm not one of them, you know. Oh, he read my mind. Because of all your thoughts are written plainly across your face. What? Frankness is a virtue, you know? Though I admit, I'm not quite sure how this works in a world like this. Huh? What do you mean by that? Just musing to myself. So if you're not a bad apple, then what the heck are you? I am Shikishima. No more, no less. <sighs> I don't really get what he's saying, so I'm not sure how to respond. However, I might break a rule here and there. Come again? My soul totem is this sketchbook, you see. It's against the rules to use totems brought into the school from, outs from the outside, yes? Whether for studying or not, 
It is against the rules to use items brought from outside the school. Brought in from outside the school. Now that you mention it, that prefect in the white mask said the same thing. Though, if it were your intent to confiscate it, I'd comply with and hand it over and hand it right over. Ahem. Though, if it were your intent to confiscate it, I'd comply and hand it right over. I have no intention of resisting. Even if it were taken away from me, it'll just come right back after all. Um, what exactly is a soul totem? Most people who end up here do so bearing an object called a soul totem. For example, I had this sketchbook with me when I arrived. Even if it's taken away, it finds its way right back to me. As long as I need it to, that is. Even if it were to be reduced to cinders, I suspect it would come back to me, good as new. Soul totems. I don't have anything like that. Speaking of which, Mr. Bucket had mentioned them to me when I became a prefect. Also, you don't have a tool, do you? Here, take this broomstick. Why don't I have one? Something the matter? That's quite the serious expression you're making. Well, I don't really have a soul totem. Indeed. You look so sad for us. Aw. Why could that be? Why indeed? I truly have no idea. Perhaps that's just something that happens. Really? In any case, this all means I'm committing a terribly grave infraction of the rules. Will you be taking my totem, Miss Prefect? Err, Shikishima's violating the rules, so it is my job to give him a warning and take away his totem. But it must be really important to him. Taking it away would be so... It seems I've put you in a bit of a bind. My sincere apologies. I'll take my leave. Thank you for letting me go. It must be difficult doing a job you can't get the hang of. But don't give up. And he's encouraging me? Even though I'm one of the prefects. Kind of a weird guy. What on earth is the story with these soul totems, though? He said most people who end up here arrive with one. Then why don't... Why don't I? Thinking about it won't help. I guess I'll go somewhere else and see if I can improve my mood. Yay! Is this is where we get our choice to go someplace? Yay! And we're gonna go to the library! Because we're on Satoru's route, so that's where he is. I like that they're always in the same spot. Oh, it's Satoru. No surprise seeing him here. He's buried in that reference book, as usual. <sighs> Hiraga Janai invented the Elekiter? Elekiter? Must be really attached to that book. If I recall, he was absolutely desperate to get it back when that prefect took it away from him. But then they hit him with the ruler and corrected him. Hi, Satoru. She just hit him with the broom for no reason. Smack! Just felt like it. <laughs> I would be the worst. I'm going to give White Mask a run for his money. I'm being the biggest asshole here. It's best to eat eel on hot days. Oi, he has no idea I'm here. Maybe if I'm a little louder. As slippery as an eel. Hello, Satoru. That, what, huh? What the? Oh, it's you again. Finally noticed me. Give me a break. You promised you wouldn't interfere with my studying. Interfere? All I did was say hello. Let's see, where was I? Slippery as an eel, and an eel held by the tail. Ugh, damn it! An eel held by the tail is. Ugh, what was it again? It takes me off when I can't remember. An eel held by the tail is not yet caught? You're right. It's right here in the book. How'd you know that? Or, uh, just a coincidence. It sort of came to me and I... I'm sorry? <sighs> it's pointless. I have to remember it on my own. No one will give me the answer during the exam. I need to memorize it all right now. He's holding onto that reference book for dear life. It seems like Shikishima was really attached to his sketchbook, too. I wonder... Why don't I have something like that? Does that mean there's nothing precious to me? I have to memorize more. Way, way more. Eel and umeboshi, tempura and shaved ice. That book seems like it has info on everything, no matter what the subject. I'm a prefect, though, so I really ought to be confiscating it. Whether for studying or not, it is against the rules to use items brought in from outside the school. 
In any case, this all means I'm committing a terribly grave infraction of the rules. Will you be taking my totem, Miss Prefect? I couldn't do it. I can't take away things that people treasure. And I definitely can't whack them with a broom if they resist. I just can't. Pickled plums, strict acid, slightly acidic. Still here? What do you want? Oh, uh, sorry. I was wondering about your book there. Blue litmus paper turns red. It's acidic. If red litmus, litmus paper doesn't change the... Red. A tomato a day keeps the doctor away. A tomato a day? But you got that backwards. It's apple. Oh, well, no wonder why we're all... We've been saying an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And it's a tomato. <sighs> been wrong my whole life. Wait, he only has that one book. How could he be packed with so much info? Rain in Spain stays mainly... And the planes! I know that one. Hey, Satoru... Ooh. Why? Like, why Why do you keep bugging me? Sorry, it's just... About that book. This one? What about it? He looks completely terrified. And I'm not even trying to take it from him. Uh, no, we don't need the tutorial. We know how to do this now. Okay. Let's see. We're supposed to touch his face. Face. Boop. Hey, you don't have to glare at me. I'm not going to take it from you. Oh, really? Hmm, he doesn't trust me at all. Face again. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, that Claire's burning a hole through me. He'd actually be pretty cute if he just softened up his expression a little. Did you say something? Uh, uh no, not a word. Huh, did I actually say that out loud? I didn't think I did. Um, touch face twice. Okay, hair, forehead times two. Doesn't it give you a headache to be constantly studying like that? What? Um, nothing. Never mind. Oop. <laughs> His hair is so silky. Well, what do you want? Oh! Whoops! Gotta get it together. I was about to pet his hair. He's not a cat. Maybe he is. And then we touch the book. I'm kind of glad we have a guide for these, because I wouldn't know what the fuck to do, but... Still, that reference book. I'm super curious about it. I wonder what's written in it. I want to take a peek. Hey, your book. Would you show it to me? No. No exceptions? Ugh! Give it a rest already. I said no! Stay away from me. Say whatever you want, but I'm never, ever going to take my hands off this book. Don't you dare come any closer! I like that he's, like, fucking crazy aggressive. At least that's where we're making him. He seems crazed. What? What was that just now? The instant I touched Satoru, a bunch of images flew through my mind. What the? What? Oh, I, um... That's right, the first time you touch him, you just get this white thing and you don't actually see anything. What? Ugh, he's like an angry cat standing there with his fur bristling. Um, sorry if I was asking too much. I won't try to look at it again. You're an oddball. An oddball? Aren't you supposed to be a prefect? Oh, right. You're not gonna take my book? No, I'm not. Huh. Not that I care one way or the other. Anyway, I'm studying. Buzz off. Let's see... Spanish flu, and the First World War spread, so did the infection. I became a prefect without making any conscious decision of my own. Just like I always do. Gargling, washing hands, vitamin C. Nonetheless, I don't want to see people get hurt or have their treasures taken away. But what I absolutely don't want to see is... <sighs> Studying. Totally. Pointless. It doesn't matter how much I study. I'm still a worthless dropout. <laughs> I wonder if he, like, actually, like, dropped out at some point and, like, you know what I mean? Like, Satoru losing all of his spirit like that, getting hit and being corrected. It's like we're in the army or something. If I hit someone with my broom, will it break their heart like that? And what in the world was it that I saw when I touched Satoru earlier? 
Ugh, this is a dream. Please, please just wake up already. It's too much to wrap my head around. My mind is spread so thin. Oh, such is life, space girl. Such is life, space case. Such is life. Greetings. We apologize for our tardiness. That was so not... That was weird. That's all good. You're right on time. And with you, that means everyone's here. Now then, for today's announcement, after school, we will hold a welcome party. The Bad Apples will all be participating as well, so be prepared. A welcome party for the new students? I didn't know they did things like that. It's kind of sudden to be having it right after school today, though. And what do we have to do for it? A game is held at the welcome party. However, per the school rules, it is forbidden to win the game. The details are recorded in your student planners. Please check them carefully. That's true. It says here in the planner, you must not win the game at the welcome party. If winning is forbidden, what's the point in having a game at all? The members of the group calling themselves the Bad Apples are delinquents who constantly attempt to break the rules. However, there are seven rules that have never once been broken by any Bad Apples, including those in their number. This rule is one of those seven. Thus, they'll surely attempt to win the game today as well. Therefore, we prefects must deal to them a crushing blow. A crushing blow? Like what he did to Satoru before, right? Or like, oh. Yay! Do I get to beat people with my broom? I know they're my friends. Not in this path, but in the other one. But I still want to beat someone with my broom. Huh. Ugh. Correction complete. He gets off on this. You know he does. If he had any emotion. He sort of does. I bet he does. He's just like, I like beating. I like it when they cry. <laughs> Sexy evil bastard. I can't do something like that. I can't hit someone. But I'm a prefect now, so I might have to. What a depressing thought. The Reaper game is an important event for us. Let us all work together in order to capture and correct the bad apples. An important event. I'm not sure I can handle this. I only just became a prefect. You're all so dedicated. You can just do your thing. They're not going to be able to find the key anyway. That's how the seven rules work. They won't find the key. What does he mean? Ah, uh, but wait. We got someone like you here this time. I'd like to see just how you fall. Is he talking about me? What does that even mean? Even if they are rendered unable to locate the key, we always operate at nothing less than full force. The party will be starting soon. Let us head to the gym. I don't think I've been to the gym since the opening ceremony. There sure are a lot of students here today. Back then, I would have never guessed that I'd be standing up on stage as a prefect. Alrighty! It's time for our magical, splendiferous welcome party to begin! Today, we'll be playing the Reaper game! Roughly speaking, in a real general-like sense, it's cops and robbers, see? I will now explain the rules. They are extremely simple. First in this game, there is neither victory nor defeat for the prefects. The only ones able to obtain victory or defeat are the challengers, you normal students. This game is a battle between the reapers and the souls. We prefects are the reapers. You normal students are the souls. Souls that are touched by a reaper are brought to the other world. The other world is this gym. Those rules really do sound like cops and robbers. The reapers are the cops and the souls are the robbers. The other world is prison. Once the game begins, the reapers will wait for 60 seconds, then go and capture the souls. Souls can run anywhere within the school grounds. Souls that have been caught and then say, I have ascended are able to drop out of the game. Regarding victory conditions for the souls, even if there are souls that have avoided capture once the time is up, they will not be victorious. For the souls to win, they must find the hidden key to the other world, somewhere within the school, and insert it into the keyhole to the other world. If they can manage to do that... All souls that have not dropped out of the game at that time will be victorious. The keyhole to the other world is there, in the center of the gym. So that's the keyhole. Looks like a ball toss basket. You have 60 minutes. 
I know they mentioned it during the meeting, but these rules are way too harsh. The odds are stacked in favor of the Reapers. There's no way the students could win. Ah, uh, yeah, they got with me on their side. But I'm not on their side, so let's see. Having to play the game with rules like this is just too much. Are we going to accidentally help them? Because I have a feeling we're going to wander around like, what's in here? Hey, look, I found a key. Is this the key? Everyone's, oh. So, good luck, cuties. A one, a two, a go. Whoa, that was sudden. Only the bad apples are running around, though. The other students are just standing around. They're going to get caught in no time flat. Your 60 seconds have expired. That was, like, not even close. Reapers, please catch the souls. You have been captured. I will ascend. You have been captured. I will ascend. What? They're already dropping out. The game's hardly started. You have been seized. 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 Arrest? Snare? We are playing a game right now. Why are you studying? Ugh, get out of my face. You're distracting me. He's still studying, even at a time like this. Psh, no way you're catching me. We'll escape this time for sure. I don't know who's who when they just have random names and then we don't have their names. Hey, all the bad apples ran out of the gym. Should I go after them? Why not? We don't get a choice. So this gym is the other world. In cops and robbers terms, the jail. Robbers are souls and police are reapers. Captured souls are brought here to the other world. So... Now, I will explain your roles as they relate to our overarching strategy. You two will keep watch over the entrance, and the two of you will guard the other side. This forms the basis of our system. The other prefects are to split up and pursue those souls that have fled. As before, the key will not be located. However, as there is no such thing as being overprepared, I'd like for you to remain by the keyhole, number two. Unascended souls could potentially slip through the cracks in our defense and revive the others, just as in the so-called cops and robbers. Everyone be on your guard. You are dismissed. He called me number two. Getting numbered like that makes me feel like I'm a prisoner. So this basket here, this is the keyhole he told me to guard. The Aroha poem written in the... Aeon, Aeon era? Similar to a poem made up of ABC of the ABCs. Still totally absorbed in his studies, even after getting captured. He's completely relentless. Why is he so intent on studying? Number two, a new soul for you. All right. Uh, oh, I'm so clumsy. Got myself caught. Thank you so much, jail peeps. Soul. We are not jail peeps. We are reapers. Sure thing. My name isn't... Sure thing. My name isn't Soul, either. I will go outside. I will leave this place to you, number two. Right. Finally got a second prisoner. Er, I mean, a new soul has been imprisoned. All the good apples just descended and dropped out the second they were caught. Actually, they didn't even try to run. I've never seen such a boring game of cops and robbers. Judgment. Famous. Rakugo tale, which revolves around a ridiculously long name. Oh. I totally read that wrong. I Judgment. <laughs> I just added fucking letters in there that weren't there. Chugemu. Chugemu. Huh. He's still going. Pablo Diego, Jose Francisco de Paula, Juan... De oh, God, God. You know what? There's a lot of... Now there's all Spanish in there. Just a bunch of names. Whatever. What's that? Picasso. Oh, I know that. Wow. That's a pretty wild name. Picasso? Oh, that's true, because, like, pa Pablo Picasso did have a... Yeah, but I don't... There are others, too. Marie Antoinette. What's that? Josefa, Jean, De, Lorraine, De, whatever. Okay, lots of names. <sighs> I hate long names. Oh, yeah? I wish that long uh, Jugemu name from the Rakugo thing didn't exist at all. During an exam, it chews through your time just writing it all down. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm not really sure what he's talking about. But if he's going to talk to me without me twisting his arm, I might as well just roll with it, right? I'll say something next, then. So, Satoru. 
French Revolution, 1789. What? Not even looking at me as usual. Um, all right. I was wondering why you're here. The Russian Revolution, 1917. You didn't say I will ascend when you got captured, so that's why you're still here now, right? Right. The, is it supposed to be Xinhai Revolution? Xinhai Revolution? I don't know. 1911. It's just kind of strange to me. If you had said you would ascend, you could have dropped out. What? And then you could have gotten out of the game and went to the library. Uh, Satoru? No. Something seems different about him. No damn way. Whoa, calm down. What's the matter with you? I will never, ever drop out. Never. No matter what anyone says, no matter what the teachers say, I will absolutely never... I... Er, anyway, I get it. I get it. So you can... What's going on over there? In front of the keyhole. Um, nothing at all. I'm sorry, Satoru. Please calm down. I will not drop out. I will study. I'm going to assume that they thought he was an idiot or something, and they told him he should just drop out. He was never... And then, so that's like... Yeah. So he was probably like... I just... I feel like we're going to find some kind of, like, mental abuse in his past. That's why he's fucking cray-cray. Because they're like, Yeah, you're just stupid. You're worthless. Uh, and he's like... Ah, and I, it just... I'm just... That's just kind of what he's portraying right now. So I don't know. The Aurora poem is a, a pangram and an isogram. He turned his back to me. Translation. Colors are fragment, but they... I thought he was about to bite my head off. What set him on edge like that? If he dropped out, he could have studied in peace. Or so I thought. Maybe I stirred up some bad memories. I hope not. I'd feel bad if I did. Ah, is it not a pleasure to meet friends from afar? Analects of Confucius. Confucius, say. He a damaged cookie. Huh? There's something on his back. That's... What the... No way. I thought I was mistaken, but that's... A key? This is a key, isn't it? It totally is. That's right. During the meeting... So... So when we were at Bad Apple, the key was in a room, and now we're good out, and the key is stuck to Satoru? That's pretty fucking funny, actually. We're like, um... That's like a beat-my-ass sign for the Bad Apples, but all right. They're not going to be able to find that key anyway. That's how the seven rules work. Ah, uh, but wait. we got someone like you here this time. I'd like to see just how you fall. So they must know... I mean, they obviously know something about me. Like, my the limits don't work on me. But, right? Because I don't have a soul totem, so I'm, like, fucking special. Um, so they obviously know that. But, like, I guess maybe we learn more as you go, or in different paths you learn different things. But, like... I'm really curious as to why we're so fucking special. Like, what is it about us that we have, why we have no limits and we have no soul totem? And we're always like, well, we're so empty and blah, blah, blah. Because if you think about it, it's not like we're special because maybe we died, came here and were reborn and came back. Because that should be everybody that graduates. Anybody who has ever graduated from this place is going to end up dead and back here, right? Well, not necessarily. Because this is really for dead teenagers, I guess. If you think about it. So, like, adults who die, when you hit a certain point, you die as an adult, you're not coming here. So, are we special because we're the only person who died as a teenager from, like, whatever, some illness, and then jumped in front of a car and died again, and they're like, dude, this is the second time you've been a slack-ass teenager and ended up here. But it wasn't our fault the first time we got sick. How was that our fault? Like, what, I die of some mysterious illness or something, and that's my fault for being a, like, hello? I didn't choose that life, yo! Ill life chose me. What the fuck? I mean, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, but maybe in this route, we're not necessarily the reincarnated version of Alma's old girlfriend because we're in a different path. So again, what makes us so special? Because I'm assuming the story kind of changes depending on whose route you're in. And like, so our backstory sort of changes to kind of fit that narrative. But... Again, why are we so special? Like, everybody else died as a teenager. What, nobody else got hit by a car picking up their shoe? I mean, Jesus, I can't imagine that there's not at least one other kid here. Like, same thing, yo. I mean, just saying. The key, the impossible to find key is on Satoru's back. Well, now what? I guess I should try to get a closer look at it. 
Satoru, sorry to bother you. Confucius, do, do not do unto others what you do not want others to do unto you. He didn't even notice me taking it. Yeah, this has got to be the key. Seeing it up close, I'm even more certain. Um, Satoru, about that... I am not dropping out. I haven't said anything yet. It's the key. I found it. What do I do? Put it in your pocket, Spacey. Even if Satoru would talk about it, he's a new student, so it would be pointless. Maybe one of the high-ranking prefects? They're all gone. Nobody's here. It does sound like there's a lot going on outside the gym, though. I'm not even really sure that this is the key the bad apples are looking for. All I can really do is ask that guy for instructions. I'll be abandoning my post, but I don't have any other choice. There's no point in me being here anyway. Uh, don't. Put it in your pocket and keep quiet. Spacey, put it in your pocket and keep quiet! You're gonna get corrected! Oh, girl. I mean, obviously. Next, names of experimental instruments. Petri dish, microscope, slide, round bottom flask. Experimental instruments. Uh, instruments for experiments? Because that sounds like instruments that you're experimenting with, like, you know, like the keytar. <laughs> Announcement! Calling all bad apples! The time might have come! I think he's chasing the bad apples right now. I wonder if anyone knows where he is. Oh! Wait! You actually think I'm gonna do that? Um, hello there! Yeah. Fellow prefect person. And they left. I guess everyone's got a very different idea of when's best to give up, but it seems like they might be going overboard. <sighs> Still... Why was I the one to find the key? I thought they made it impossible to find, and I wasn't even trying to look for it. Hey ya, uh, yoo-hoo, Miss Prefect Lady! Huh? Are are you talking to me? You betcha! The thing you're holding there? Send it my way, please! What? Um, okay. Merci! Wait, oh no! I just handed it over without thinking! <laughs> you're a real peach! Nice job finding it! Just like Mii's letter said. Good thing we sent in a spy. Okie dokie, team, pay attention. What's this that I'm holding? Is that the key? I did a bad thing. Oh no, we're all really in for it now. To the other world, chums. Away we go. Yeah. You're welcome. Fuck, I fucked up. Damn it, it's not even my first day on the job. I have no excuse for this. Hey, wait. I'm not really sure what's going on, but wait! The key. Why did... Mr. Prefect, sir! You are a prefect yourself, are you not? Um, yeah, that's right. Are you the one that found the key? And then let it slip so easily into enemy hands? I'm so sorry! She said to hand it over and it was like a reflex! I have no intention of being so unproductive as to vent my anger on you. Instead, let us pursue them. Okay? Oh, God, he's going to beat us later. That's quite a fluffy dress for... Think you got to be wearing gym sweats to run? Think again, loser! Fucking love her. Him. That's as far as you go. You can no longer escape. Whoopsie doodle! Surrounded! This could be quite the pickle. Naraka, over here. Ah, but such wonderful timing. Here, catch! Oof. Too bad for you, punks. We just know how to ha we just we know just how to handle a run a rundown play like that. I can't read. A rundown That bonehead pincher attack got the Nar uh Pincher attack that Narika got caught in. Oh, the boneheaded pincher attack that Narika got caught in. Cool it with the boneheaded stuff. Oi, move it or you're gonna get hit with a penalty for obstruction. Arg and here's the wind-up. Yeah! Obstruction. You're doing enough interference all on your own. Ugh, smoke. I will pursue them. They're all kind of robots. Makes it easier. I will pursue them. <gasps> I can't breathe. I added that. Hand it to me. 
Right. Here you go. Biker jacket guy. Grr. It's like playing rugby. I cannot watch this. Why are you allowing them to toy with you? Do you recall the rules? Reapers may use their weapons. That's right. Our weapons. We will correct you with our weapons. Oh, no. Prefix are brandishing their rulers. Yeah, I have a broom. Mine's better. I could just be like, whack! Woohoo! Come on, Spacey. Do some shit. Beat some people. I know there are your friends and we love them. But in this path, you need to knock some bitches down. But then we can't, but then we would be a really good apple and we'd start forgetting shit. And that's probably not the point. We're supposed to probably end up like, I'm like a good apple. Not really. And like, wild left curve ball. We're a bad apple. And then we go back to our life with Satoru. Somehow he, I don't know. Is it maybe tried to jump in front of us and save us from, I don't know, whatever. Ha. Huh. So when you can't play the games by your own rules, you break out the weapons. Real cute. This is no game. We must remain on our guard or else. This is not good. The bad apples in the gym. No in the other world. The girl in the fluttery dress is their leader. Fluttery? Oh, that girl from before. But didn't they pass the key over there? Wait, wait. Wow, you picked that up quick. And just when we were about to brawl. No. We have been deceived. Everyone return to the other world with all haste. We will stop them. I will not allow it. Oh, Anishi, your dramatics. I will stop you. <laughs> oh, look, perfect timing. Um, I know we're technically in the middle of the Reaper game, but we're going to have to stop here and we'll find out. Uh, uh, well, obviously, they're going to get the key in the hole, so whatever. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.